Welcome to the June 2009 Limited Series Tasting. And uh, we were just talking about the trip to Vegas on the Classic Series uh, video. And there was this uh, young lady, about probably 80, maybe 75, uh -huh. and she was sitting at the table and we were making the rounds. And, and she says, you know, I am the hit of the retirement home. Uh -huh. Aha. Said, I said, really? She says, yes. I take the wines every month down to the cafeteria and we open them and I am like the queen of wine. She goes, keep them coming. And I said, that's a great testimony. I'm using your story yeah. in the next video. Did she tell you she did it for breakfast? She did for breakfast. <laughs> She said, that's why she's a hit, you know? about ham and eggs, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, there you have it, you know? You know, we're going to taste the white wine for the limited series. We had uh, white and a red this month. As you know, about four or five times a year, we'll do a white wine in the limited series. And this is an incredible Verdejo I tasted in 2007. Big, big hit yesterday in the staff tasting. Marquis de Arun. And uh, I'm just, I'm just going to let, well, you've already tasted this. Well, one. this wine, though, is, you, you know, it's made by Lustau. Okay, I mean, Lustau is the premium sherry producer in Jerez, in uh, in the southwestern uh, Spain, and um, I, yeah, you know, this is in Rueda, which is not even close to sherry, so I guess they will have some holdings there. But there this is, is this is the new darling grape of Spain, of of Australia, of Australia, but you completely know, different than Australian versions. Well, yeah, but yeah, um, there's there's some hints there of of uh, a little pineapple and. Some apricot. It, it's just you know, it's a verdejo uh, is is grown in um, in um, the island of Madeira, and they make this incredible right. Madeira wine out of it. But it's also an ancestor to Riesling. And well, if that you, I didn't know. If you smell it and, and taste it, and you're told that you can actually yeah, that apricot you can, you know, nose. Of course, yeah. if you smell it, taste it, I thought, and I told you that it was an ancestor to Cabernet. You'd buy that too, right? right. But, no, this is I'm, I'm I'm being almost serious now. Well, but. The ones I've had in Australia seem to be a little bright, a little more acid. This has a little more body, and I love how some of these mm, fortified wow. wine grapes are becoming still grapes, and they're doing great with them. Well, they're not becoming still grapes. Well, they, <laughs> they were always still, still wines, grapes, you know? but this is really spectacular. I love the fleshiness. I mean, it almost tastes like it has skin contact. It's got that nice little curling in the mm -hmm. sides of your mouth. You know, you can throw anything at this. Guacamole and chips at Tequila Willie's. Mm. Wow. Tequila, tequila Willies. <laughs> Am I dating You're myself? You're really dating yourself. They're that, still around? This is Manhattan no. Beach, folks. Yeah, they, they uh, probably California. went out of business 20 years ago. Uh, but and so did place. I, as a matter of fact. So we're, we got something in common there. Actually, did watch the NBA championship there that now that's going on. Um, this, uh, I love the straw color. Yes, yeah, they're very good. And uh, the nose just it jumps out of the glass. And my staff was like, wow, this is really good. What is a Verdejo? And I'm glad that you explained that to them. Uh, now, the first, it, the first one went out at... 19, actually, the retail price is nineteen ninety nine. The first one out eighteen ninety nine, seventeen ninety nine, and Reelers are fifteen ninety nine. And you know, considering the pedigree of the manufacturer mm -hmm. of this wine, that's a really good bottle of wine. Yeah, it's delicious, price. absolutely delicious. And the, um, you know, and these guys, I mean, I, I didn't even know they made uh, uh, table wine until I, I tasted this wine, and then, and then I was I was enamored of it. And of course, finding out it's loose style, I knew it was going to be fabulous. You know, I want to define table wine since you brought it up. You know, people say, "Oh, table wine, that's uh, you know, that's junk if it's table wine, right?" And that's totally incorrect. Right. Uh, table wine means in American uh, the federal statutes that it's um, uh, between seven and fourteen percent alcohol. Right. That's all it means. It doesn't right. mean its quality level. It doesn't mean anything, just it's the alcohol no. content. And it's, if it's seven to fourteen percent, they can put table wine on it, and many, many do. Now I gave this wine an eighty-eight, but. Uh, it's really like a 92 yeah, to me. Yeah, it's 90, 92 I don't know why I changed my mind in this. Uh, because you finally tasting the wine in a pleasant a story. A, uh, atmosphere with somebody that you've known for a long time. What a great guy. Hey, what a great guy. Actually, when I do taste these wines and I rate them originally, it's at the time I taste them. In the tasting room, I probably tasted 50 or 60 wines, maybe before this one came up. So sometimes my ratings are skewed based on the wines I've tasted before, but this is a really, really good value. The red wine is, uh, I found at a tasting, and when I saw the Manassian name, which is Armenian <laughs> surname, of course, yep. I was intrigued to see that they're in the, in the business. But of course, there's a lot of wine, Armenians in the great business, but not the wine great business. And it's called Manassian Young Beyond the Pale. And it's sort of his uh, high end blend with uh, Syrah and Mavedra, which is a great grape to have in California. I love Mavedra. I do too. You don't see enough of them. No, you don't. Well, there's only about 80 acres of Mavedra planted, or there was. It's probably a little in more California. than that now, yeah. But it's gorgeous. Um, this is a 2006. And they call it, um, what is it called? Beyond the Pale. And it's from Paso Robles, and you really get that in the nose. The yeah, Paso David Young named the winery after the two surnames of his parents. Uh, his mother was Manassian, which is, as Paul pointed out, is an Armenian name. But there's also some uh, Irish, I think, in there. 
and um, and his his family is from Scotland uh, originally. His father Conrad Young was a, was a, a diplomat, I believe, in in, in Scotland. So. He, and then he, um, he didn't want to be in the wine business. He went to Cal Poly Pomona and met his wife there, who he married, and, um, and somehow they decided to, that they were going to grow apples or something, and then he decided that wine was more interesting, and that they've done a great job with this wine. I haven't tasted the others, but I'm sure they're fabulous. Well, when I first tasted it, and only made 544 cases of this, he really didn't want to do business. He, you know, the price, it was very pricey at the time of the tasting, and as a good Armenian guy with another Armenian guy, he wanted to make a deal, and we were able to bring it to you at $21.99. Originally, it was for $24.99, and you can get more for $16.99. And the thing I like about it is, besides, it's got so many grapes in it, in a variety of styles, but it really blends together well. Yeah, it's no, really one, it's, it's nicely, one piece. nicely put together. Lovely wine. Again, a little bit of uh, sort of that hot, air, hot weather character in the nose. Yeah, I'm I'm doing about an 89 with this. I think this is a, what did you give it? You gave it 87, which you're going to change now, you know. No, low. 87, 88, hmm. but you know, just because it's very pricey, I think for 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 uh, 16.99, it's a great bottle at Terrific. that price. Oh yeah, you know, if I paid 25 dollars at the store, I'd be happy, but not uh, thrilled about it. It's a great value at the price that it is. Mm. Well, knows that, don't you? Very good. Yeah, now look at the legs on this thing. This has got a lot of power. This will last a long time. It's got some nice tannin levels, really firm, great with steak or lamb. Oh, yeah, see, uh, Manasseh Young, yeah. lamb, you got a shish kebab, yeah. right? Yeah. That makes absolutely. Like a Persian restaurant? Yeah. All right. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. They're Sonics, they won't break. 